Jeff Penton kicks his machine into action for the most frustrating ride of his career. Carl Crank is off, proving again why he is one of the top U.S. riders. And Jack Penton pulls the finest wheelies of the six days. Starts are also funny and exciting if you're the spectator. One of the top Czech trophy team riders can't start his bike on time the first day. The entire BMW team fails to start their machines on time the first day, and German obscenities fill the air as these German giants kick the daylights out of the largest cycles in the trials. Yes, the start. The insignificant start takes on new dimension, because if your machine doesn't start, how are you going to get down the trail? think of six-day trials, this is what you think of. The trail riding going on every day for six days and covering almost 200 miles a day. What is the trail? It could be anything that two wheels will run over. Fire trails, logging roads, back roads, highways, paths, hills, mountains, and mud holes. You name it, and the trail rider rides it. Let's watch some six-day riders ride the trail. It takes very specialized cycles to run trails. They must be light as possible, yet strong. They must have a suspension system that will take the extreme pounding for six days without failure. They must be dust and waterproof, so the engine is not ruined or damaged by water, mud, or dirt. The engines must be strong and flexible to go six days without repair or losing their power. In the ISDT, all machines are classified by size the smallest being the 50cc machines. These little engines displace about five cubic inches and go the same place all the other cycles go. Most cycles of 50 to 75cc size are very special with six to eight speed gearboxes and most are one-off cycles built especially for this event. 100, 125, 175, 250, 350, 500 and open machines make up the other classes. The Penton cycles that the U.S. trophy team is competing on are production cycles made to meet these punishing conditions. They are one of the few specialized cycles that come up to the special works machinery and allow the independent rider the opportunity to compete against factory machines. When you get up to the 100cc class, the size of engine begins losing its importance, as many times the 100 and 125 riders will cover the trails as fast or faster than some of the larger sizes. Most of this is due to the tremendous skill the six-day rider develops in their specialized class, using the cycles to their fullest potential. Each rider, however, competes within his own class and is not affected by what somebody else is doing in any other class. He is competing for that top spot every day, for a gold medal and team performance that is measured by his skill in his class only. That's why the Penton Trophy team is competing in five different classes, each to try to get to the top of his class. Dane Leimbach on the 100cc Penton, and Bill Ewell also on the 100cc. Tom Penton on a 125. Jeff Penton on a 175. Carl Crank on a 250 and Jack Penton on a 350. All are competing in their own class and not against each other for the valuable team bonus points. The Penton Trophy team consists of some of the country's top trail riders. In the national qualifying series, the trophy team riders consistently rode the trails faster than all other riders and took the top three overall positions. The trophy team competes in team for the coveted World Trophy, which is motorcycling's highest award for team competition. It is awarded annually to the nation whose trophy team establishes the winning score in the ISDT. As such, it is motorcycling's most prestigious and coveted trophy. 
The trophy team consists of a national team of six riders, nominated by their cycle federation. The six machines in a team must include at least three different capacity sizes. The cycle may be of any country or manufacturer. The Penton Sport Cycles are the U.S. and Italian trophy team machines. which winds its way through this bog, captures many cycles in its muddy grip. isn't properly waterproof, you have the chance of pulling mud and water into your engine, and that would be the end of your six days. At spots like this along the trail, everybody has a different way of attacking it. Some will be successful, and some won't. The rider must also be wary of the spectator's advice. You either think for yourself, listen to a friend, or listen to the crowd. It's a gamble either way. <laughs> 